Right in a bit, you turn. OK, Rob, yeah, you're holding your own against the QRM from the continent, so that's not a problem. Yeah, you're getting out well with the Carolina Wyndham. Catch you later. Uh, the station that I put on the back burner was Bravo in the call sign. Go ahead, please. Uh, no response. This is Mike X-Ray Zero, Lima, Tango, Charlie. QRZ? Uh, uh, Mike 3, Delta, Alpha, Florida. Uh, stand by, Jerry. I'll be right back. Um, I heard a station ending in Foxtrot. Go ahead. Uh, very good afternoon. Uh, this is Mike 3, Delta, Alpha, Foxtrot. Mexico 3, Delta, Alpha, Foxtrot. The name is Dale. Delta, Alpha, Lima, Echo. And the QTH is uh, approximately about 12 miles north of the city of Derby. And uh, you're a good strong signal, 5.9 plus. And I'll give you, uh, well, that's what it seemed like. I wasn't looking at the meter, so uh, <laughs> it was very strong anyway. But I'll, I'll give you a proper report on the next one. Uh, from Mike 3, Delta, Alpha, Foxtrot, over. Yep, uh, you just had a compliment from another station with me here. And he said, blimey, he's only running 10 watts or less, because, of course, you've got an M3 station, Dale. And he said, where is he calling from? I said, Derby. He said, blimey, that's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I will say the same thing. You're sounding really, really good. You did come in competing with another local station of mine here, who's about 40 miles away. I've gone back to shortly. Jerry, he's in Plymouth, next city down. But Dale, you're coming in really nice. Uh, with no competition, you're 5 and 9 into Sidmouth here. So your 10 watts is doing extremely well. Uh, my name is Ian. I'm currently being assisted by Ken, whilst Dave has gone out to make a brew. And we're off shortly to get some fishy chips before we get inundated with the public. But Dale, you're, you're doing fine. M3, D, M3 DAF from Mike X-Ray Zero, Lima Tango Charlie, the Lockyer Technology Center in Devon. Over. Uh, from Mike 3, Delta, Alpha, Fox, uh, returning. Yeah, fine, uh, Ian. Uh, well, uh, you're doing a, uh, a fantastic trip, uh, no problem at all, doing a fantastic job. And, uh, yes, your report is uh, plus 5 to plus 10, uh, sometimes 5, 9, 5, 9, 5, and uh, 5, 9, plus 10. So, uh, really good, strong signal. Uh, I do work extremely well down to the south and also to the north due to the antenna configuration. Uh, I do use a 214 uh, feet N-fed sloper, uh, which is up at approximately uh, about 50 feet in the top of a big oak tree, uh, and then slopes right down to the ground at the other end. And it is actually beaming to the north. It is a sloping down to water, exactly to the north. Uh, so obviously, uh, you know, to the south and north, it works extremely well. Uh, the radio I'm using is a Flex uh, SDR radio, and uh, that's the antenna. Um, so uh, <laughs> I'm really, uh, really, really chuffed with uh, with the nice report that you're, you're giving me from down there in in Devon uh, this afternoon. Uh, bank conditions haven't been all that great this morning. Uh, but uh, at present, uh, uh, obviously, the Continentals are there as well with the contest, and uh, uh, and your signal is is competing with all that. So it's all uh, it's all coming to life again. Okay, Ian, I won't hold it. Uh, just like to say thanks for putting on the station. Nice to make the contact with you for the first time, and hopefully we can uh, can work again. I'll let you uh, press on and uh, make a few more calls. Uh, so uh, Mike, back to you. Uh, Seven three from Mike three Delta Alpha Florida. As we think we all pretty well know, it's always the antenna that gets you out, isn't it? It's always the antenna. And you've obviously found an antenna that's suitable for you, that 214 foot sloper is what's doing the business for you with your 10 watts. So congratulations Dale, sounding really good with that flex radio etc. Ra ra ra. What more can I say? You, you, you came in with the pile up and I picked you out. So obviously getting through extremely well. Catch you later, Dale. I'll just put it back to you for a quick final, then I'm going to pick up um, one of uh, my local pals who called in earlier. Uh, M3 DAF, go ahead. Uh, from Mike 3, Delta Alpha Fox. Yeah, okay, Ian. Well, uh, yeah, many thanks for the, uh, same say, for the lovely report. And uh, it's nice to know that this flex is working as it should. And, uh, uh, and yeah, obviously, the, the antenna was a compromise. Uh, obviously, we live in a, uh, in a bungalow here. 
and nothing but bungalows around the QTH and uh, you know we can't put up any poles or anything like that we did try it uh, we did try an inverted V uh, full size G5 and uh, you could see the pole and the uh, uh, the ribbon feeder for, for, for miles around so uh, didn't want to upset any neighbours wanted to keep everybody happy and uh, some say this one came up as a compromise uh, a bit of a stealthy uh, stealthy sort of approach uh, to the antenna system and uh, it does work extremely well so I'm quite happy with it. Okay Ian, wish you a good evening, good weekend and uh, hopefully we can uh, uh, make the call again. Uh, from Mike 3, Delta Alpha, Florida. 73, good evening. Okay Dale, well the thing is you kept everybody happy and you can still get out. <laughs> That's a very pretty good amateur situation to be in. Catch you later. Uh, Ziggy down in Plymouth, M0ZGY. Go ahead Jerry.